Okay, we're going to take a look at super absorbent polymers. Polymers, if you look, under, look at them under a microscope, are just a long chain of repeating molecules. Uh, super absorbent is because these little pieces of crystal that look a lot like rock salt will actually absorb between 150 to 300 times their weight in water. Used for a lot of different purposes. Uh, and we'll go over that some uh, after we're done playing around with them. So come on in here a little bit closer. We're going to take a look at these bad boys. Okay, so here we are with our gel crystals. Spread a little bit out here so you can see what they look like. You see here that they look like tiny little pieces of rock salt. Uh, and they come uh, just like that in a bag. You can get it from a bunch of different places, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you about some of those here in a little bit. And that's the whole thing about these super absorbent polymers, it's that they're really rock hard crystals like this. Uh, typically what I'll do is I'll pass around a little vial like this. And this is my baby soda bottle, and I keep my crystals and, and things in there as, so I can uh, keep them handy. But I'll pass out that vial to everybody, and I will actually ask each of the kids to take maybe, you know, six to ten uh, little crystals. And I'll have them put them on an index card on one side. And then on the other side of the index card, what I try to do, because they're, they're scientists and they have to observe and, and take a look at the, their natural surroundings, is I have them write down some characteristics of what the crystals are. Maybe the sizes, their appearance, what they feel like. I encourage them not to taste anything that they uh, don't necessarily uh, know what it is because, well, we know the ramifications of that. So I have them write down characteristics. I even have them maybe draw uh, little figures around the crystals so that they have a comparison to, to work with. number of different ways that you can actually grow your crystals. You can buy yourself a nice little lab kit like this. And you know these are like you know three four bucks a piece in a in a local like a pharmaceutical store or lab store, uh, and that's one way of going about doing this. Um, I do things probably the the 4-H way, and I try to repurpose things and use things that that I see around my environment. So one of the things I do, I you know one of the things I like to do is go around to yard sales, and I keep my eyes open for anything I might be able to use in science experiments. In this case, this is a, just a plain old little ice cube tray and you can use this to put your crystals in uh, and then add your water and then you can watch them grow from there. Another alternative and sometimes like ice cube trays like this I can get those for free at the end of the day when people have the free boxes uh, or they're, they're very minimal cost especially if they know what, what you're up to and why you're going to use them. Uh, but one of the other things I, I try to use, and you know they're pretty pretty cheap, is I repurpose egg cartons. You know what egg cartons are, and what a great little environment this is. They're cheap. You get to reuse things, so you can put your gel little crystals in there, and then you can go about adding your water to them and then watching them. So that's another thing. To make my life easy, as I'm going around to different uh, venues. I'll actually take a big carton like this and to haul my water I will use a little film canister uh, and I just they set in there really nice uh, they'll keep them nice and contained uh, you can you know, carry in as much as, as much as you need so I need to use a little bit of water right now so I'll grab that going back you now here to my little container you can have each of the kids uh, pour some water into the into the containers. What I like to do is try to keep some that are dry and then uh, wet some down so that uh, the kids can see how they progress. One thing that I've done here already is uh, here's another container of water. Uh, just another way to haul water around. As you see there, there's some Lots of good, clean, fresh water. And you can see all the way to the bottom. But really, is that just water? As you see here, 
these are dr the the crystals that that you see and just as a comparison sake you see how little the crystal starts out and this is how big they can get to be and if you look down into that water they, they're disappearing so that's a really another neat thing that the kids get to play around with as well so let me move that one aside now what's really cool is when you're working with your your crystals and your different uh, containers here you can actually make some of your water uh, put some food coloring in it you know whatever color that you would like a red maybe a green it doesn't really matter because you can add that to your water and then put your crystals in it and then again you can have the kids watch to see what they're uh, doing and what happens with those let me show you here an example of some of these that we used with green it's not a real vibrant color but it does still draw in the color into the crystals uh, which is really cool and then the good thing about these polymer crystals they absorb water but you can also dehydrate them and, and that can turn into a whole nother experiment for you uh, and they will go back to their original form which is really cool and you can uh, continue to reuse those uh, the other thing that I've done recently is after I've had uh, lots of colorful crystals I'll dehydrate them and as you see here uh, the crystals are all they, they dry up to whatever color uh, that they were introduced to so here we have you know the environment to grow the crystals you introduce the water that's one of the things you can actually weigh them uh, you know maybe you get a teaspoon of these into one container weigh them as you start and then as you add water periodically you know maybe every five minutes you can have the kids weigh again because that's what scientists do they're continually measuring things and weight is, is uh, one way of doing that here's a handful of the crystals that I started probably about five minutes ago the colorful ones So whatever color you use is what color um, is absorbed into them and they'll always keep that color when they uh, dehydrate and rehydrate uh, so that's you know one thing that you can play around with now a cool thing about this is we always do the the single white uh, crystals in multiple colors and then what we'll do is take our little baby soda bottles or little test tubes and we'll let the kids layer them in sort of like the sand art that you see uh, and once they have the water absorbed into them, you can actually plant uh, a, a bean, a green bean, into them. And the good thing about these little baby soda bottles is the caps uh, and sometimes will actually even act as a holder and hold it up. Uh, and, and you could actually glue it in there if you want to, if you wanted that sitting on your windowsill. Uh, but that is just another uh, thing that you can do with these gel crystals. Oh, yeah. One last thing while I'm thinking about it. You know, I talked to you about repurposing things around that, that you have available to you. Um, it'll help keep your cost down in your programming, which is pretty cool. Obviously, food coloring doesn't cost a lot, and that works well with the gel crystals. The other thing you, you can do to control your cost, uh, online you can actually buy the little dye tablets, uh, like a hundred of them for five bucks. But if you plan it right, and you're out you know after Easter shopping and hitting the clearance you can probably get a hundred of those dye tablets on clearance uh, probably for less than a buck and I've, I've done that recently so that's another way uh, the gel crystals you can buy those online and you know nothing stopping you from doing that but one final hint about how to get this material that you can use and keep your cost down for your programming is you go to your local like home improvement store that has a garden center and they have bags of what they call soil moist I go to my local Home Depot or Lowe's or True Value and they have that in the garden department uh, you get a one pound bag for fifteen dollars and one pound bag will last you probably the entire year if you're doing a lot of programming remember you can reuse it uh, dehydrate rehydrate but what I like to do is give the kids that stuff so they can take it home uh, share it with their families and their, their siblings and, and get them pumped up about science as well.